Hey everyone, my name is Chris Khoury and I'm a solution architect at the Amazon Selling Partner API team. Today, we have an exciting topic for you. We're going to show you how to configure the Sample Solution app for SP API. The Sample Solution app provides all required resources to deploy a fully functional SP API application to the AWS cloud. You can use this application to test the proposed solution, do changes and or integrate it to your own product. Now this specific workflow is a full merchant fulfillment workflow. It retrieves an unshipped order, verifies that the stock is available alongside the item's size and weight. After that, it retrieves the eligible shipping options and selects one based on price or delivery time. Then, it creates the corresponding shipment and sends a pre-signed URL to your email to be able to browse it. Now, without further ado, let's get started. After cloning from GitHub, open the project using the editor of your choice. The main file to look into is the readme file under the app folder. It contains all the needed steps to configure, deploy, and test the solution. Now let's start by configuring the solution, and to do so, we will be updating the app.config file. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds, and here's what you need to do. Open up the app.config file that can be located under the same app directory. And make sure to fill in all attributes here with your app's credential. You'll need to plug in the access key and secret key values. Also, client ID and client secret. You'll also need to add the region you are operating in and the refresh token generated from your app. Finally, update the email attribute value with the email address where you want to receive the shipping labels generated. And that's it for step 1. But wait, there's more. Step 2 is all about configuring the Sample Solution app's IAM user. Here's what you'll need to do. First, you need to create an IAM user with the right permissions. And to do so, you navigate to the IAM Users console and click on Add Users. Choose a name for your user and in the Set Permissions page, select Attach Policies directly. There, you'll find the Create Policy button. Go ahead and select it to go to the Policy Editor page. Select JSON between the list of available options and replace the default policy with your desired JSON configuration. Feel free to copy and paste our JSON configuration that we provided in the README file in the project repo. After pasting, click on Next and choose a relevant name for your policy. Make sure to memorize it for the next steps. After creating the policy, head back to the user creation page and then refresh the list of available policies and search for the one you just created. Attach it, click next and create user. Congrats, we created our user, but we still need their credentials. And to get them, we're going to go ahead to the security credentials tab. Find access keys and click on create access key. In the next step, Select command line interface as your best practice and click next. This will create your access key and secret key. These precious credentials, make sure to copy them and keep them in a safe place for the deployment script. And that's it, you've successfully configured the sample solution app for SP API. Now, for the exciting part, we will dive into executing the deployment script for the sample solution app. We will start by locating the deployment script. Identify the script for your chosen programming language. For example, if you're using Java, the file is called java-app.sh. Next, grab your terminal and execute the script. In a Unix-based system, you can run bash java-app.sh, and this will issue the CloudFormation stack creation. Now, after deploying, it will prompt you to enter some inputs. And these inputs will be the access key and secret key that were generated from your IAM user that we just created. After that, plug in the region you want to operate in and the output format, by default is JSON. Now after plugging in the inputs, we will wait for the script to generate the CloudFormation stack for us. To check the status of the CloudFormation, Navigate to the CloudFormation console and keep an eye on the stack named SPAPI app with a random suffix. Wait for it to show status create complete. Meanwhile, you can check the resources that are being created. 
such as the lambda functions, and the inventory table database, which is based on DynamoDB. And after the creation is complete, you receive a subscription email from Amazon SNS. Confirm your subscription to receive notifications about new shipping labels generated during testing. Great, our script has been deployed. It's as easy as that. Now it's time to put the sample solution app to the test. Open the AWS console and navigate to the DynamoDB console. Explore the items in the table created by the deployment script, named SPAPI Inventory Random Suffix. Create a new item and add the required attributes for testing, such as the SKU, height, length, width, size unit, weight value, weight unit, and stock. Next up, we open the SQS console, select the queue created by the deployment script, and send a message with a simplified notification body. Now you can find the sample notification body in the readme file. Don't forget to replace Amazon order ID with the ID of the order you want to test. Now you can navigate to the step functions console. Behold the state machine created by the deployment script named SPAPI state machine with a random suffix. We witness a workflow for the order submitted through SQS. Use the graph view and step detail panels to check the status and dive into individual steps. This will also help you fetch logs and lambda functions for related steps. And guess what? After the order is processed and the shipping label is generated, you receive an email with a pre-signed URL. Open it in your browser and admire the label. Awesome, congrats! We created the shipment and got the label to our email inbox using the SPAPI sample solution for the MFN workflow. Now, this is all I had for you today. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more SPAPI related videos. And happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.